Hi everyone, today I will be showing you how to make this rosebud bracelet and you'll need a C-clip and 49 rubber bands and you can make it whatever color you want. Um, here I made a red roses with a mixture of red and pink or you can make it yellow or, or blue or whatever color you want your rose to be. So let's get started. Let's start by making these little rosebuds and you'll need a total of 12. I made 10 of them and I'll show you how to make two. And here I have one with all red and here I mixed red and pink. So to do that, we're going to take a single rubber band, whatever color you want. I'm making the leaf a lighter green and I'm doubling it, coming from the first peg to the second peg. And my rosebud will be pink and red, so I'm taking one rubber band of each and looping it from the second peg, cross it over to the third peg and twisting it back like we're tying a knot, the same as the way we did it on my T-Rex's teeth and some of my other animals. We'll do it the same up for the other rows, taking a single green twist double coming from the first to the second peg. And now I'm taking two red rubber bands and looping it from the second peg, twist, making an X in the center, and then crossing it back and looping it right back onto the second peg. And we'll tie the knot. So reach under in the third peg, grabbing the bottom band and pulling it to the center and going to the second peg, grabbing the bottom band, leaving a knot in the center. Repeat for the other rosebud. You can do this up and down your loom for a total of 12 little rosebuds. And you can make the stem or the leaf of your rosebud any color you want. So now after we tied the knot, we're going to put our finger on the center where the knot is, pull the rubber band off the third peg, and loop it right onto the second peg like that. Repeat on the other side, same thing, getting your knot off the third peg and looping it right onto the second peg. And now this acts as a cat band. Go under, grab the bottom green bands and loop up and onto itself. Repeat. For the other ones, I'm putting it on my holding hook in the order that I want to place the rosebuds. So here I have the pink and red. So I'll just grab the stem or the leaf of my rosebud, get it on my holding hook in alternating order. Now I'm doing my bracelet with a dark green with our loom in this configuration and the arrow pointing down, looping it from the first center peg to the side and we are going to alternate it with a single rubber band and now we are going to take our rosebud off and looping it and attaching it to our bracelet like that. Once again, take your single green, putting it from the next peg down and now attaching your rosebud on the loom and just keep going in that order, one single band and one with the rosebud and the leaf right onto your loom. And now here I'm going to come across. So from the second right peg to the center, bottom most, and my last one for this so far will come diagonally to the left side of my loom. 
So that's what your bracelet should look like so far, ending to there. And now we're doing the attachment because we want our bracelet to be longer. So this ended in the rosebud. So my next pattern will be just a single band and repeating my pattern. Until I'm done with my rosebuds. It's my last rosebud. Attaching it to my loom. And I'm taking my last rubber band and I'll cap it off like that. And if you want the bracelet longer, you can add more rosebuds and more single bands. So now go under the cap band, grab the bottom two bands, and loop up and onto itself and just continue. This is the connector for our bracelet. So just keep going up. Now we're going to take this side off the loom, pull this connector bracelet off the loom, and we'll attach it to the end here. Now we're going to go under the bands we just put on, grab the bottom two, and just continue looping up our bracelet all the way to the first band. Lastly, your bracelet ends there. You're going to need a C-clip. We'll attach it on the end of our bracelet. And we can take it off the loom and attach it to the other side, making sure it's not twisted and attaching it to this side. So there's your rosebud bracelet and it measures about seven inches long. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.